Well, meat chickens are about two and a half weeks old right now. They're pretty well feathered out. We've got a great forecast for the next couple days. It's not supposed to get down below about 50 degrees, so I'm gonna go ahead and move them out to the tractor today. But first I gotta get in here and make sure all my feed and waters and all that kind of stuff are all set up. So I gotta clean it out a little bit, move it over into the right spot, and uh, then we'll get it moved out. Let me get it opened up here. We'll bring you in close. We'll show you what we got going on here. Actually, I got all kinds of stuff on the roof. Let me just flip it over and get all this stuff off. Lots of little sticks falling from the trees. There we go. All right. All right, let me bring you in close. All right, so I'm not sure how much I'm in the camera, but you guys get the idea. This is the chicken tractor here. I think it's six by four, I believe, is the uh, size. I don't remember exactly. I'd have to look it back up, but I think that's pretty much it. Uh, maybe it's eight by four. I think it is eight by four, actually, now that I think about it. Or maybe it's eight by five. I don't remember. I'll have to look it up. I'll put it down in the description below, uh, the sizes of it. But it's a pretty simple pro uh, build. Um, you know, I'll link the video up here, I think, where I built it. I'll link it up at the top here so you can go see if you need to know how to build it. This is my uh, feeder. Well, actually, this is my feeder. And again, this is a, I stole this design from, a, well, I didn't steal it, but I copied it from a Living Traditions Homestead. It's just a five gallon bucket. It's got some holes drilled in the bottom of it, about one inch holes right here, so the feed can pour out. I've got a two by four chunk inside that I've got drilled. Well, you can't see now, but I've got it screwed right here and right here to the base so that holds the feeder in there. So I can just fill that up with feed and that'll hold days worth of feed for them. That works out pretty well. This is my water. It's another five gallon bucket. It's got a couple of holes drilled in each, one in each side. These are just little, uh, I don't know what, it, you know, just little holes. They don't have to be very big. And then the lid goes on, it goes upside down in this uh, galvanized tub right here. And that lets the water out, oh, about yay high. So they'll have plenty of water to drink. So I need to get both of these things out of here, get them cleaned up a little bit, and then uh, get the tractor moved where it needs to be, get them all placed. As far as moving this thing goes, it's really not that hard. I got a string tied on, or a, yeah, tied to the frame down there. I just put a piece of PVC so I grab it, you know, a handle basically, and then it just pulls. I'm gonna move it across the yard though. I'm gonna start them on the other side, and then I'll be working them back this way. All right, got the tractor in place. Go clean their feeder and water out and we'll be good to go. All right, so I got the water all set up. See if I can dump it in here without dumping the whole thing. There we go, got it. And you probably can't see that, but it's dripping water out the sides. It'll fill up this you know, bucket. As long as your, your holes are below the, the rim of the you know, the pan, it's not gonna overflow, it's not gonna run out of water, you're gonna be fine. All right, so, their feeder's next. And I always put it over here in the cupboard section, so I don't have to worry about if it rains or something like that. And it's even simpler. We're just gonna fill it up.
Now they are, you want me to get that so you're not listening to that the whole time. They are switching up now. They're going from uh, 24 hours a day of feed to 12 hours a day of feed, 12 on, 12 off. So at night I'll come and take the feeder out. All right, it's all set up and ready for them. So let me go gather them up, we'll get them in the tractor. All right, that was a little bit of a trick. I should have filmed that. Catching those birds in that brooder box was a little tricky. But now we'll just let them all out. Come on, guys. I was hoping they'd just come running out on their own. It doesn't look like they're going to. <laughs> Come on, get out. Come on, get out. Come on, get out. There we go. They're all out. My hands are all dirty now. This is the first time on grass. And you can tell they don't take long to uh, acclimate to it at all. Now there's no latch on this lid, just like gravity hold it closed. Really don't have problems with them trying to jump out. It's about a little over two feet high, I think, probably two and a half feet, something like that. I don't have any problems with them trying to jump out when the lid's open. It, it, it just super easy, super easy to deal with, so. All right, let them get acclimated for a minute here, make sure they find the feed in the water. All right. That's pretty much all there is to uh, getting them out here and getting them set. I mean, like I said, I checked the weather, make sure we had a decent forecast. It wasn't going to get too cold at night. It doesn't get below 50 for at least the next, uh, at least not projected to get below 50 for at least the next week. So what I'll do from here is every morning or every night I'll come out and I'll take their food out. Every morning I'll come back and I'll put it back in and I'll move them. For the first day or two, I may not need to move them, uh, but after that, it'll be pretty much every day. Um, if not, starting rough with tomorrow, I'll have to move them to a new section. So I'll just pull it forward one tractor length and just tractor it around my yard. Every day they get moved forward a tractor length. These guys, it takes them a day or two to get kind of acclimated to uh, moving the tractor and figuring out how to do that. So for the first couple of days, I usually run one of them over like their leg gets stuck under the back of the tractor while I'm pulling it. I gotta go to the back and lift it up, let them out. It doesn't injure them, but it you know freaks them out. They'll start screaming. Usually after about two days, they figure out how the tractor works and they start moving with it. But it does take a couple of days to, to get them acclimated to that. But that's it. Other than that, these guys get moved once a day, uh, put their feet in in the morning, take it out at night, and in about six more weeks, because they're about two and a half weeks old right now, in about six more weeks, they'll be ready to process and be able to put in the freezer. So super easy way to uh, raise a bunch of meat. And you can already tell, I mean, they're only two and a half weeks old and they're already getting pretty good size. I mean, they're almost Cornish game hen size now um, at two and a half weeks old. So we'll let them grow out a little bit more. I uh, get up to about five pounds here in about, at about eight weeks of age, they should be about five pounds. So like I said, about another six weeks and uh, they'll be ready to process. So anyway, um, I'll keep you guys updated as we go. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, as always, God bless.